woman or students. Today we want to look at magnetic field around a conductor carrying current. Now, it was discovered accidentally that any time a cor anytime current is passing through a conductor, magnetic field will be generated around that current. Okay? It will make a magnetic compass to deflect, meaning that mag yeah, magnetic compass is used to detect magnetic field. So when a magnetic compass is brought to a conductor carrying current, which is observed that the magnetic compass is going to deflect. Why? There's magnetic field around that conductor. We're looking at Magnetic field around a straight conductor carrying current. Okay? Magnetic field around a straight conductor carrying current. When an experiment is performed like this, this is a conductor. This is a conductor. And I put a cardboard paper here this way. The conductor passes through the cardboard paper. This let us put our switch here. Let's see. Our switch is here. Now, the conductor passes through this cardboard paper. And then we put iron filings all around this place. All around this place. We put iron filings all around. Just scattered around like that. Around this conductor. And then the power of this is switched on. The current starts flowing. The current starts flowing through the conductor. We observe that if you come here and tap this cardboard paper, by tapping this cardboard paper, the iron filings are going to arrange themselves around the conductor this way. The iron filings will arrange themselves around the conductor this way, telling you that magnetic field is present around the conductor because the conductor is carrying current. Now, before, this, before you turn on this, this system, you discover that even when you tap this cardboard but nothing will happen. Okay? It, this arrangement only happens when electric current begins to flow through the system okay? because there's magnetic field around it. What about the diagram here? Now this diagram here helps us to know the direction of that magnetic field. We call it the right hand grips rule. Right hand grips rule. Assume that the conductor you are dealing with, this is the conductor, and then you hold with your right hand, sure that your thumb points out like this. The, your thumb shows the direction of the current, then the folding of this, your fingers, shows the direction of the magnetic field. Like here, this is it. The current is flowing. If the current is going up, I just put my thumb around it this way. Now this one, this side will show you that the magnetic field is going this way. Now if the current is actually going downward, and I put my thumb this way, then these fingers will show you that this magnetic field around this is going this direction. What about somebody that puts his thumb this way? If the current is flowing here like this, then my thumb will have to be like this. If it is like this, you will see the circle, the magnetic field will be going this direction. We call it the right hand grips rule. You hold the conductor with your right hand, let your thumb show the direction of the current. Your finger will show the direction of the magnetic field. We also have it when we have two conductors carrying current, two straight conductors carrying current in different directions. This one is going up, this one is going down. Now, by the time you put your thumb showing the direction of this current, you notice that my fingers move this way, showing the direction of the magnetic field. And this other side is the opposite direction. If my thumb is here like this, my fingers will move this way, showing me that the magnetic field goes this other way. Then we also have when we have a loop, a loop, a conductor bent into a circle, this is what you are going to observe, the magnetic field around that conductor. Using the right hand grip screw, don't forget, here the current is going this way, and it's coming out this way. The current is going this way, you are holding this this way. This one, the current is going this other way, you are holding it this other way. And then we also have what's called a solenoid. What is a solenoid? The solenoid is a rectangular coil of wire. You have a straight coil like this, then you now bend it into several tons of wire to form something rectangular. We call it what? A solenoid. When electric current is passed through a solenoid, it behaves like a magnet. You discover that magnetic field will be generated inside and outside the solenoid. One end will be acting as the north pole, while the other end will be acting as the south pole, just like a bar magnet. We'll discuss more on this in the Google class. Thank you very much.